I'm Dana, welcome to Made Every Day. Today I have a really simple project that the whole family can enjoy. We're gonna take those old recycle bin tin cans and turn them into really cute planters or containers for your house. So let's get started. I love a good upcycling project and tin cans are just asking for a makeover. So we're gonna add some cool graphics over the top that'll make them look extra fun. Here's what you need. A tin can, Mod Podge, a paintbrush, and some cool graphics printed on standard paper. You can use any size can that you want. Just start raiding your pantry and looking around at the grocery store. These ones are great for little pencils. You could use a little tiny tuna can for a cactus. You can even buy empty paint cans at a hardware store if you can't find a tin can that you want. But I love these extra big ones because they look really cool as planters. You can also find these at the grocery store or maybe at a food storage place. Now let's talk about graphics. I printed all of these from graphicstock.com, which is a really cool online site that has thousands and thousands of royalty-free vector images, illustrations, photography. You can even print out labels, party invitation ideas. It's really, really fun. And I love that you can put things into a project folder and then I can see which images look great next to each other if I'm decorating a room or something like that. Today, however, I think I'm gonna use this really fun geometric print. Let's put it on our can. Okay, we're ready to put our image on our can. Now, because my can is so large, I've actually printed the same image two times so that I can kind of bookend, sandwich it, whatever you wanna say on top of that. But first, as you can tell, it's a little too tall, so we need to cut and measure that a little bit better. So lay it on your can, and let's grab our scissors and a pencil. Let's just kind of decide where we want it to cut. Oh, that looks good right there. And then cut both your pieces so that they're the same size. Having this image with lines on it makes it really easy, because then I can just cut a straight line. Although I'm always amazed sometimes that you think it would be straight and I'm still crooked. Okay, there we go. Now comes the really fun part, the Mod Podge. I'm sure some of you have used Mod Podge before and if you don't have Mod Podge, you can just use glue and water. Two parts of glue to one part water, mix it up in a bowl. Similar effect. I'm gonna pour it out on a plate here. Okay. You can use a bowl, just something to hold it. Okay, there we go. And I always end up needing more than I think I do, so I'm gonna put a lot on there. Okay. Now this plate is just to hold my can once I start going up and need to set it down so my table doesn't get messy. Grab your first image and your can. Actually, let's put a little Mod Podge on first. I like to start at the seam here with the seam of my paper so that I know that's maybe gonna be in the back and won't be seen as often, because sometimes it can create a little bit of a bump. So just start by putting a little bit of the Mod Podge on your can. That kind of acts as the glue, since it pretty much is glue. There we go. Take your image and put it right on top. You really wanna try to line it up well with the can, those edges of the can. Okay a really fun project to do and it's great to get the kids involved. They would love working on this together. Okay, now just take your brush and Mod Podge it on top. How many times am I gonna say Mod Podge? I bet you're wondering. Okay, there you go. Just right on top of the seam like that. And if your seam is kind of sticking up, don't worry, it'll start to lay down a little more. Okay. Then after you have that part done, I'm gonna open this up a little bit put some more right under here. You really wanna work in small sections at a time. If you do the whole thing at once, like put Mod Podge all over it, you'll end up with a bunch of bumps inside. So there you go, just lay that down like that. Okay, and then just keep going. Put more over the top. The cool thing about this is that you can't really put too much on. When it dries, it's gonna have kind of a glossy finish to it. And you can buy Mod Podge in all sorts of different finishes. You can get more of a matte finish, you can get a glitter finish. I like this gloss one because it just looks kind of, I don't know, classy. In fact, when I made my first one, I showed it to my husband, I said, look at this thing. And he said, oh, did you get that at the store? <laughs> did I get that at the store? 
I made it for like 30 cents. It's pretty cool. He thought it was pretty cool too. Okay, just keep going. Try to be straight. I've gotten a little bit crooked here. Let's set it down for a second. Okay, there we go. Okay. Keep going over the top. It's honestly like a little therapeutic doing this. Okay. Now these large cans also have kind of a lot of bumps on the can, so those will show up a little bit because what you're doing with the Mod Podge is making the paper really wet so that it lays down flat and this adheres to it, so. But that's okay. The bumps in the can add a little bit of character. Okay, just keep going. I'm almost to the end of this paper and then we'll add the other paper. Try to put some more glue under here. Okay. This is a little reminiscent of the yarn lantern glow video that we've done before, which uses glue, but is similar to Mod Podge. It's fun to get messy at times. Okay, as you can see here, this is kind of not laying down. Let me get a little bit more underneath there. But you just have to keep working it over and over. There you go. Now it's laying down. Okay. All that white right there, that's gonna disappear once it dries, so don't worry about that. Let's grab our next one. Let's make sure my pattern's going the same direction. We'll lay that right on top. And I have not done a very good job lining this up. You will wanna do a better job. Oh, actually, that looks pretty good. Okay. Put some stuff on top. And let's go all the way back to the beginning. Okay, I'm back to the beginning. As you can see, it still looks kind of messy, and oh yeah, I've dripped a lot on the bottom. So let's just clean that off. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna stick it right on this plate, and then I'm gonna let it dry for about 30 minutes. And there you go, 30 minutes later, and our can is finished. It looks really beautiful. It's glossy, and it's just waiting for you to put something inside. I'm gonna go look for a cool plant. For more information and tutorials, visit my website, madeeveryday.com, and to print some really cool images, go to graphicstock.com. I'll see you next time.